now students let us start with the new theorem that is pythagoras theorem this theorem we have studied in the class 7th or 8th but there you have studied only the statement and not the proof but in 10th standard we will learn how to prove the statement given by pythagoras here is the statement in a right triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides so here the given things are a triangle abc right angled at b is given and we have to prove that the square of the hypotenuse ac is a square and so the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides the other two sides are bc and ab so sum of the other two squares of the other two sides this we have to prove so first we will write the given things given given is a right triangle abc abc right angled at b it means angle b is of 90 degrees now to prove that ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square this we have to prove and to prove this we will do one construction and that is draw bd perpendicular to ac so we will draw bd perpendicular to ac so this is bd we have drawn perpendicular to ac so this angle will also be of 90 degree now we will see the proof now we will take the two triangles abd this triangle and the main triangle abc and we will prove these two triangles as similar so in triangle adb and triangle abc i just separate these two triangles so this is the triangle adb and this is the main triangle abc and we have to prove that these two triangles are similar here the angle a and this angle a is same this one and so this angles are equal because both angles are common and angle d and angle b are of 90 degrees so angle b is 90 degrees it is given and angle d is 90 degree because of the construction and therefore by a criteria these two triangles are similar so we will write in these two triangles angle adb that is equal to angle abc each is equal to 90 degrees and angle a is equal to angle a the reason will be common and therefore triangle adb is similar to triangle abc by aa criteria and therefore since these two triangles are similar triangles the ratio of their corresponding sides will also be equal and therefore ad upon ab is equal to ab upon ac the reason will be corresponding sides of similar triangles are equal in ratio or are proportional 
now cross multiply so we will get ab square is equal to ad into ac similarly if we take this triangle bdc and this main triangle abc we get similarly we can prove that bc square is equal to dc into ac we can prove that bc square is equal to dc into ac and let this be number 1 and let this be number 2 so adding 1 and 2 if you add 1 and 2 we will get ab square plus bc square is equal to ad into ac plus dc into ac ac is a common factor take it out as a common factor so ac into ad plus dc plus ad plus dc means ad plus dc will be the total length ac so which is equal to ac into ac and so it is equal to ac square therefore ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square hence proved let us see another theorem that is converse of pythagoras theorem the statement is in a triangle if the square of the one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides then the angle opposite to the first side is right angle this we have to prove it is given that abc is a triangle in which ab square ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square it is given and we have to prove that this angle b is of 90 degrees this we have to prove so given is ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square and we have to prove that the angle b is 90 degree so first we will write given given in triangle abc ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square and to prove that angle abc is equal to 90 degrees this angle abc is 90 degrees that we have to prove so first we will do the construction draw one right angled triangle right angled at q such that bc is equal to qr and ab is equal to pq we have to draw a triangle pqr right angled at q such that qr that is equal to bc and pq that is equal to ab so we will write the construction as construct a right triangle pqr right angled at q at q such that pq is equal to ab and qr is equal to bc now we have got these two triangles and we will see that this triangle is a right angle triangle we do not know whether this is a right angle triangle or not because we have to prove that this angle is 90 degree it it means we have to prove that this triangle is also of also a right angle triangle so in triangle pqr in triangle pqr we can apply the pythagoras theorem that is pq square plus qr square is equal to pr square here 
एंगल पी क्यू आर विच इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्रीज बाय कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड देर फॉर पी क्यू स्क्वेर प्लस क्यू आर स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू पी आर स्क्वेर रिजन पाइथागोरस थियरम But we know that AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square, and AB and PQ are equal, BC and QR are equal. But AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. This is given. But we know that PQ and AB are equal, QR. and bc are equal so this right hand sides uh, sorry left hand sides are equal and therefore the left hand side right hand side two will be equal and therefore pr square is equal to ac square and so taking square root of both the sides we will get pr is equal to ac now we have got pr is equal to ac so ab is equal to pq BC is equal to QR, AC is equal to PR. So by SSS congruence, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, AB is equal to PQ. BC is equal to QR and AC is equal to PR. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by SSS rule. And therefore, since these two triangles are congruent. their corresponding angles will also be equal so angle b and angle q are the corresponding angles so angle q is 90 degree and therefore angle b will also be of 90 degree and so angle b is equal to angle q corresponding parts of congruent triangle and therefore angle b is equal to 90 degrees hence proved now we will see the problems on pythagoras theorem and the converse of pythagoras theorem here is the first question a ladder 10 meter long reaches the window 8 meter above the ground find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the base of the wall here BC is a wall, and AB is a ground. And from a point A, a ladder reaches the point C. And it is said that a ladder is ten meter long, and the window is eight meter above the ground. If this is the window, then the window is at a distance of eight meter. above the ground so this distance will be 8 meter and we have to find the distance between the foot of the ladder this is the foot of the ladder from the base of the wall sorry this is the foot of the ladder and this is the base of the wall and we have to find this distance this angle will be of 90 degree and therefore triangle abc will be a right angle triangle and here we can apply the pythagoras theorem so in triangle abc ac is equal to 10 meter bc is equal to 8 meter and we have to find ab so ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square by pythagoras 
theorem. And since AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square, we have to find AB. So it will be AB square plus BC square, BC square that is 8 square, which is equal to AC square that is 10 square. So AB square, which is equal to 10 square will be 100 and 8 square will be 64. So 100 minus 64. So AB square that will be equal to 36 and therefore AB will be equal to 6 and therefore the required distance is equal to 6 meter. Another question is a man goes 10 meter due east and then 24 meter due north find the distance from the starting point these are the directions of west east south and north and suppose a man starts walking from this point and first he walks 10 meter towards east so he walks 10 meter towards east and then he walks 24 meters towards north. So let OA be 10 meter and 24 meter towards north. So AB is 24 meter. Now join OB and so here you will get a right angle triangle. This angle is 90 degree and we have to find the distance of this point. point from its original position so we have to find the distance OB therefore in triangle OAB OA square plus AB square is equal to OB square reason is Pythagoras theorem and OA is 10 so it will be 10 square plus 24 square is equal to OB square and so 10 square will be 100 and 24 square will be 576 this is equal to OB square and so 100 plus 576 that is equal to 676 is equal to OB square and therefore OB will be equal to square root of 676 so it will be plus minus 26 meter but the distance cannot be negative and therefore neglecting minus 26 we will take only plus 26 meter and therefore uh, OB is equal to 26 meter neglecting distance minus 26 meter and therefore the required distance is 26 meter friends you might have enjoyed this video then go to thumbs up button and click then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.